Hey everybody, uh, welcome to another video. And today's video, this is, a, I guess I'm going to call it a quick tips video. Um, because today what we're going to be looking at is the CTS wardrobe HUD. And I'm kind of surprised I haven't done this before, uh, but we're going to take uh, an overview look at the entire HUD, what all the buttons do. Uh, we won't actually maybe go through all of the functions, uh, especially like uploading a th something using the HUD today. Um, I've talked about that in another video, but um, we'll look at the buttons and what they do and, and why you would click each one. Uh, and just kind of walk through that so everyone can get a sense for all those things and how they work and all the functions and features. Um, it, Joining me today is my little unicorn, which has been lost in my inventory for I don't know how long. This is Rarity, who's uh, my favorite of the ponies. Um, she's always very well dressed, and um, even though she seems super nice, she uh, can be quite a handful if you're mean to her or her friends, so <laughs> that's Rarity. Um, and she'll be joining us today to help us go through the HUD. All right, so let's get started. Uh, my HUD's right down here at the bottom. Uh, let's actually, let's move that up a little bit just to make it a little more front and center. Okay, uh, so that's my HUD and right now it's collapsed and I can click the button and, oh, of course it went back down. <laughs> I'll go ahead and move it, this one up too. There we go. Um, and when you click it, it opens up and it gets, uh, you get to see the full HUD. And what we'll do is we'll just kind of walk through all these buttons and talk about what they do. Uh, the first one I'm going to talk about, and I'm not going to show to everybody, is the button that's actually in the middle. And when you click on that, what you get is the link to your wardrobe. And the reason, of course, I'm not going to click on it is because the link you get is your private link. It's the one you don't ever, ever, ever want to share with anybody. Not your owner, not your master, not your best friend, not your husband. Um, nobody. Nobody should have that link. You can always create another shared link and you can look at my shared links video if you're not sure how to do that. Um, but that really is, you know, you actually absolutely have to get in and, and create those shared links. Don't share this one with anybody. Anyway, uh, so that's what that button does. Uh, second button, we're going to jump over here and this is of course our minimize button. When you click on that, it makes the HUD small and you click it again, it makes it larger again. All right, so let's jump up here uh, to the one above that. We're gonna kind of go counterclockwise, I guess, something like that. Uh, I probably will jump around, actually. Um, this here is, um, they call it a hamburger menu, actually. So it's like, think of it as like the two buns and the hamburger in the middle. Uh, but hamburger menu, uh, you see these a lot on the web now, and it's it really kind of denotes that there's a menu you can click on it and get more stuff. So I click on it and um, it brings up this full menu of everything that wardrobe can do. So let's talk about what some of these are. So the first button here, wardrobe, is the same thing as clicking this in the middle. It gives you your private wardrobe link. The second button, snapshot, is the same thing as clicking this blue camera. And this is a method for um, uploading items into wardrobe. And like I said, I've got another video on this and I'll try and link these extra videos in the description of this one. The third button here is share, and share is pretty neat. Um, it's how you can share a not private link, uh, an actual shareable link without having to go in and create it with other people. Uh, and when you click on the share button, you get these three, well, four different options here of how to share that link. Uh, so you can click public and it'll actually put a link into public chat that everyone can see and anyone can click on and they'll let people go to your wardrobe. Uh, you can say to owner, which is to yourself, so it'll put it into a private um, chat to you, and you click on that, and then you can copy and paste the link and give it to whoever wants it. Uh, and then you can pick a person, so it'll actually find people nearby you, and you click on this, and if there are people nearby, there's nobody here now, but if there are people nearby, you could pick one and send the link to them. So that's share, uh, and of course cancel brings you back um, to here. Uh, so share is a way to share a, a a link, a private link, uh, or pardon me, a public link to people. All right, previous pose and next pose are the same thing as clicking these arrows, and we'll look at how those function when we get out there. Stop posing, of course, is this button at the bottom down here, the square. Res stand is the same as this button over here. Res is out of pose stand. And this is how you can configure your stand, and we're going to do that in a minute. Camera angles, you click on that is what this button here does. Uh, the one thing that you can't do out on the button though, 
is to delete the current camera angle. So if you create one and you don't like it, you need to come into the hamburger menu, go to camera angles and delete it from there. Uh, the last one here I want to talk about, and we'll kind of go through these here real quick, is setup. All right, so in setup we have a couple different things. HUD size, you can actually make your HUD uh, larger, really, really small, um, standard size, however you want it to be. I'll actually make it large for this video so it's a little easier to see. Um, display mode. This is um, kind of an interesting thing. Uh, if you click display mode, you can tell it whether or not when you click this button in the center, you want your wardrobe to open up as a web browser page or as actually a shared media window on top of your HUD. Um, and, and this is sort of like the same thing as if you were looking at your wardrobe page from within your actual in-world wardrobe. So it's not the full web page to get if you go to the browser. It's just that sort of watered down page. But you could do it that way if you wanted to. If you didn't want to have your wardrobe resed out all the time, but you wanted to have that kind of quick access to it in-world without leaving the world, you could switch it to HUD. All right. Um, so this button here is uh, by default set to lock your HUD. Uh, and this is using RLV to prevent your HUD from being removed uh, when you change clothes. So if you want to make sure your wardrobe HUD is always on, you can lock it into place. Uh, suppress messages. This is um, what you click if you don't want uh, any messages about wardrobe being sent out into local chat. Um, okay, so you can either choose to suppress messages or you can choose show messages. Now, I'm pretty sure, um, 99 point something, something, something percent sure that what it's really talking about here is suppressing messages to you. There aren't, um, there isn't uh, a lot of messages being sent out in open chat to people with wardrobe. It's not a sort of a, a really vocal tool. Um, so I, I, I recommend leaving those messages on because it does help you with troubleshooting, especially when there's issues with your outfit and stuff. Uh, closet styles, I'm not actually going to demonstrate that today, but if you use the in-world closet and you're standing nearby it, you have to be within about 10 meters of it. Um, if you're standing nearby it, you can click on this button and you can choose different closet styles to, um, to display so you can get the different views of it. Uh, one last thing, and this is actually a pretty important one, and this is the reset HUD button. Uh, a lot of people get script errors, uh, especially the auto strip script errors. If you're getting those, what you want to do is come into hamburger menu, go to setup and click on reset HUD. Um, and that's actually going to go through and reset the whole thing uh, and get you back to where you need to be. Uh, and it should clear up those errors at least until the next time they show up. All right, so let me go back in here and let's go ahead and make the HUD large again. And... Um, lock it again so I forget. Okay, so let's look at the rest of these buttons and kind of how they work. Uh, so I think I've showed this before, but these arrow buttons here are what allow you to change your poses. Uh, so whether you're using custom poses or the built-in poses in the HUD, uh, pretty much uh, as long as you're in an area that allows scripting, you can click on these arrows to start posing. You don't need to res out your pose stand. Uh, you don't need to do anything. You can just click on these and change to the different poses that you have in your HUD. So if you've got dozens and dozens in there, you can switch through and do dozens and dozens of poses. And you can go backwards and forwards. And uh, when you're done, you just click the stop button and it stops. Let's talk really quick about this uh, lighting pop-up that comes up. Uh, I actually just learned this like a week or so ago. Um, so this should be popping up for you every time you go into pose. And it will change your lighting so that you get something that has um, sort of less shadows uh, and is a little nicer for taking photos. Uh, that message, though, won't pop up if you do not have RLV enabled in your viewer. So if you're using the Linden Lab viewer that doesn't have RLV, or if you for some reason have RLV turned off, you won't get that message. So if you're expecting that message and you don't see it, make sure RLV is enabled. And of course, when I click stop it, it sets my wind light back to how it was. All right, so this next button here is to res a pose stand. So Rarity and I are gonna go over here and I'm gonna go ahead and drop a pose stand right here. When you drop your pose stand, of course, you're given the option to put in the 
uh, female poses, male poses. These are used if you have the default set of poses in the HUD. If you've customized your poses, you want to always choose all poses, and that will put them in. Of course, you could also put no poses in, but I'm not sure why you would want to do that. Uh, I guess maybe you could put no poses in and then load some of your own up, maybe. Um, I usually choose all poses. That puts all the ones that I have custom from my HUD into the stand. And I just want to be clear on that. So any poses that are in the HUD, whether your custom poses or the ones that come with it, will go into the stand when you res it out. Uh, they get copied into there, uh, assuming that they're copyable. If you put no copy poses in your HUD, I don't think that would work. Um, but if you put copyable transferable poses, no transfer, but copy poses into your HUD, they'll get copied into your pose stand. All right, so once your pose stand is resed out, of course, you can stand on it. And I can get my lighting adjustment again. I'm going to go ahead and choose yes. All right. And we're going to look at how these buttons here work when they're on the pose stand. But I want to look next at this right here. And this right here is our um, save camera angles. So the arrows down at the bottom here will cycle between the different camera angles. So before I even move my camera around, I'm just going to go ahead and click on this here. And oops, there we go. Uh, if, the, if you click on these buttons and they don't work, just hit the escape key. It means your camera's locked into a particular position. All right, so I can just cycle through these and I've got all these different camera angles sort of set up here um, that I have saved. And if you want to, let's say maybe you want to get one, um, like for example, a lot of times I'll go in, I don't want my head, I just want to get a picture of, of my torso for a shirt or a dress. Um, and I actually had one in here like this before, but I deleted it for this demo. Uh, so I can go in, I get my angle set up the way I want, um, and then I can click this top button here, and that will save it. All right. And now again, I'm going to hit escape because I, my camera was locked from going in, but now I can just cycle through these, and there is set, save setting. And these are always angled out based on the position of your post stand. Um, so if I stand up off the post stand here, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and go into edit mode here so I can move this. And then I'm going to go ahead and pose back on it. And I'm going to actually rotate this around like so. And I'm going to just drag it, because I usually have one out here. I'm going to go ahead and drag it just right here into the back corner of my photo studio and do that okay again, i'm going to hit escape and so now i can go ahead and hit these again and again it's going to line them up based on the position of my post stand so it works pretty well um i like it uh, again um let me go and do a wider out one so these buttons down here allow me to change the poses that are in the hud so if I've got a whole bunch of in there, I think I only have three, uh, it will change through them back and forth. And of course I can click this to stop. All right, one more thing we're gonna take a look at. Let me go back on here again, click yes. I'm gonna go back around to the front and go back into our hamburger menu. And we're gonna go to config stand. And this is gonna allow us to look at the options for our pose stand. All right, so there are a number of different things we can do. Uh, we can adjust the size of the pose stand. Uh, we can make it, um, I don't know why you would make it so large, um, but you could, uh, or you can make it small. Um, I don't think I've ever actually changed that. Uh, you can actually uh, hide the backdrop. So if you wanted to use your pose stand, but you wanted to set up a scene behind you um, that didn't make use of the pose stand, the white for the pose stand, you can do that and you can add it back. Uh, and then you can also go in here to backdrop colors. And when you do this, you can choose a color for your backdrop. Of course, I always leave mine pure white, but you can make it any color you want. If you wanted to do a green screen effect, you can do it. It'll actually give you your RGB value down here. So when you go into your graphics program, you know what RGB value to hide on your green screen. Um, the other thing that you can do from here, and this is really important, is you can rotate your body on your post stand. Sometimes people end up facing the wrong way on their post stand. 
sometimes they end up with their feet way on the ground and you don't have to use your hover height you can actually come in here uh, to the background colors and adjust yourself all right so let me go back up here to white last thing you can do is you can select backdrop textures and there's a whole bunch of them you can load them up on your wardrobe page uh, and I don't think I may not have any I don't know it's something you oh there they go they're just a little slow there we go. So you can bring these textures in, um, and, and I don't actually ever use these at all. Um, at least not these textures. Um, that one's kind of an interesting one. <laughs> Partying at the pool with people you don't know. <laughs> uh, anyway, so you can cycle through these, and like I said, I think on your web page you can adjust these. This is something I do a lot. Uh, as most people know, I am very much just a solid white um, background person. Um, and then move this out of the way. There's a little red X up here at the top that lets you close that. Um, anyway, so there you go. Um, that is a little bit more about, and you can see I rotated my body so now my camera angles are off a little bit. I need to go back in and config and backdrop colors. And I need to rotate myself back around if you want to. Anyway, still a little bit off. You can always stand up and reset it back out there uh, to the way it's supposed to be at the start. Um, so that is, oh, one more button. I almost forgot. Let me come back around. So this button up here with the camera, this is the one, and like I said, I'll link to a description, I'll link in the description of this video to another video um, that walks you through how to do this. But if you click on this button, it'll actually start you through the process of uploading an item to your wardrobe um, by entering in the title and the tags and so on, just lo in local chat. Um, but I've already done that in another video, so I'm not gonna do it today. All right, and this will time out after about 60 seconds if you click it by accident. Um, okay, that's the CTS wardrobe HUD. So hopefully uh, you found something maybe in the HUD today that you didn't know was there or weren't sure exactly how one of the buttons worked before, and this should hopefully cover it for you. So um, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, check out the videos in the description down below. Uh, subscribe down below, like the video down below, all of that normal YouTube stuff. Um, and have a great day and happy wardrobing. Bye.